Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're doing my fall house tour. So it's really hot outside, so I don't feel like going outside. But this is my front door. And I have my harvest sign. I actually redid that um, with the white nautical rope. And redid the board and everything. Because my other one was just falling apart. And I didn't like the brown nautical rope. It was like fraying a lot because of the heat. So I redid it and I love the way it came out. And then I have this rug that I got from the 99 cent store last year. I have my fall tablecloth. This was on my island um, last year, but I have a new one on there. So I put this one on my dining room table, my antlers year round. Don't mind that stuff over there. And then that's the sign for my sister. I need to send it to her. And then the antlers and the mason jars I keep year round. And then if you come this way, here's my island. This is my new tablecloth buffalo check that I got at Ross the other day. I have this welcome to our home floor mat sign. I think, or not sign, floor mat. I think I got it at Dollar General last year, but I don't really remember. Um, but I love this buffalo check one. I'm leaving it up for Halloween as well. I have my little orange plaid pumpkin. I got from the 99 cent store. There's one sign that I made with the window decal or window cling and I actually removed the sign off of here and then Mod Podge the buffalo check paper and then just all I did was flip it over and then I used two little cubes to hold it because it kept wanting to lean because the paper wasn't in there all the way because of the way I did it but and then I hot glued the raffi a little bow back on there my love box with my red truck ribbon and my orange sunflowers. And then I have this one that says hello fall. Same thing. Um, it came with the sunflower, but I hot glued it on that side. And then another orange plaid pumpkin from the 99 cent store. My three tier tray. My little red truck is from the 99 cent store. The gray and white plaid pumpkins are from Dollar General. It came in a pack of six. And I have two other ones. They're like different sizes. My little welcome sign is from the Target dollar spot a few, uh, two years ago. I have two of these, one's on the other side. These are from the 99 cent store. Then the cream colored pumpkins that come on the clips, I took those off. And then I have a salt and pepper shaker, one on each side. Then I have the white and the orange pumpkins that come on clips. Happy Thanksgiving, but first, pumpkin spice. That candle is from the 99 cent store I got last year. My little antler, deer antler candle holder is from Kohl's. And then if you come over here, I have my Hello Fall mason jar sign that I got last year from Dollar Tree. This one's from Dollar Tree. I don't like that raffia bow. I need to take that off and do my own. That's horribly done, but that's okay. And then I have an orange and the orange pumpkin, then the velvet white pumpkin, my orange flowers. This was on my coffee table, but I moved it over here and then I have something else on my coffee table. So I added one of the little plaid pumpkins in there. The Hello Pumpkin sign is from the 99 cent store. The candle, coffee candle is from the Target dollar spot. I made that one last year. That's from the 99 cent store. I have another velvet pumpkin and the orange one. My happy fall garland uh, banner thing that I made with pumpkins last year. That I made this year. I took that from the calendar and then added the little jute bow. I just mod podged it to a sign that I already had. And then this one is from the 99 cent store, but I got it on clearance for 50% off when they were trying to get rid of all their fall stuff. They had their Halloween stuff out, but they they were just starting to put Christmas stuff out. So I got it for 50 cents. And then I made this with one of the pictures from one of the calendars that I got. And I used clear Elmer's glue instead of Mod Podge because I saw someone do that, but I don't like the way this turned out. You can see the lines. I even 
sprayed the paper with water like you're supposed to so that you don't get wrinkles. I haven't cut the edges off because this took forever to dry. So I need to cut the edges off and then I super glued the little rubber stoppers back on there. But I won't be using the Elmer's glue again. I'll be doing Mod Podge. It worked out so much better. But I still like it. You can't really see the lines when it's laying down. My copper rose gold pumpkin from Dollar Tree. I just made that this year. I took three of those little signs that say different things. This one is upside down because it had to be or it wouldn't have sat perfectly. And then I just distressed it with the truffle paint, added the word autumn with the poster stickers, and then added the red truck from the calendar. And then my little Hello Fall box with the blue truck. Home Sweet Home Mason Jar is from Michael's. The Buffalo Check pumpkins are from the 99 cent store. That's from Dollar Tree, so is that. Another copper rose gold pumpkin. I have some leftover napkins from last year. The yellow cream colored pumpkin. My fall sign that I made that I love. That's from the 99 cent store. This is from Michael's a few years ago and I got it on sale because it is broken. It's like chipped right here and one other spot, but it has my pumpkin candies in it. And I love this jar so much. I think that's how it goes. So I have it backwards. Yeah. But I'm trying to hide the... Anyways, that's from the 99 cent store too. This is my sign that I made. Like I said, it looks just like my sister's or hers it came out just like mine, except mine's white. And then I have another cream pumpkin of the orangish yellow. I love how this area turned out. Then we have my Happy Harvest towels with the sunflowers that I got from Dollar General. My spoon rest is from Ross last year. My matching pot holder and oven mitt, that's also from Dollar General. That's from the 99 cent store. I made this one and that one from calendars also. Added the little jute bows to cover up the holes. That one's my favorite, of course. And then I like that one, but you can see the sign through it. If you kind of look, you can see the G right there. Anyways, then I have my pumpkin sign. I don't ever want to do a DIY with that. I would buy another one and then do it, but I love that sign how it is. I also made this one. I posted it on my Instagram and Facebook. This one I did use Mod Podge and it's fabric from Walmart. And then I super glued the little stoppers back on there. It was really easy to do. I'm actually going to be making another one just like this and I will film because a few people want to see and then I want to make some for gifts for people but I need different other I need other fabrics for that so and then in my window that pumpkin is from Dollar Tree so is that one I have my new scarecrows from Dollar Tree my little red truck from Dollar General that clean that one and that one are new from Dollar General and then all the rest are from Dollar General last year. So that's my window and then my one of my favorite signs I ever made. Love it. That's the window cling that I Mod Podge to the sign and then I took three of those pumpkins and did the distressing. My little Farm Fresh Pumpkins wagon sign that I got from the 99 cent store. That's from Dollar General have my little box. I got this box at the Target dollar spot for $5. These were in my three tier tray and I just moved them over here. My little red truck that I got in friend mail. It lights up. I had this sitting on my side table by my couch but my son thinks it's a truck to play with so I had to move it over here. That's from Hobby Lobby this year. That's from TJ Maxx last year. My little Hello Fall bucket full of candy. You can see my husband got into that. That's okay, that's what it's for. My other sign. So it does look different because I added welcome and I think it looks so much better with that welcome there. That square was bugging me. Um, so I just painted one of the galvanized words with black and super uh, hot glued it on there or E6000. I don't remember which one I used, but I love that sign. I used the white nautical rope for that one too. Then my coffee bar, I have my gather towel from 
Dollar Tree, my dish drying mat, and I was gonna use this one to actually use to dry my dishes, but it's too big. It doesn't fit on my countertop. So I use it over here. I got it at Hobby Lobby. My orange vase that I got from Dollar Tree last year. The sunflowers are from Dollar Tree. The cream and the orange pumpkins are from Dollar Tree last year. The pumpkin spice everything coffee sign is from Hobby Lobby. Another coffee candle from the Target dollar spot. Three dollars. They actually smell like coffee. I made that last year. There's a little bit of, I need to touch it up with white paint, but I just hung it on a little tiny command hook on my fridge. And then I don't have much over here, but I do have this one. And I think this came from Dollar General. And then I have my orange jar filled with candy corn, my little maple leaf dish that I use as a trinket tray. Here's my side table that I made. I just have the pumpkin spice season and everything nice season box with sunflowers. That's an actual candle that I got from the Target dollar spot uh, for $3, I believe. Then I have my pumpkin blanket from Ross. Here's my table runner that was on my table last year, but I moved it onto the coffee table. I love it. Leave that alone, Leland. I made this. I used the Harvest. That was on the calendar page with the truck. My S and L pumpkins for my kids. I added one of the little gray plaid ones in the middle. It also has the red truck on this side. And then that is also from the same calendar piece. It says pumpkin apples, pumpkins, apples, hay rides. And I love that you could see it on the back so that way it wasn't just plain white. I have my Hello Fall placemat that matches the runner. Um, so I use it over here. And the last thing I have to show you is my back door. So hold on just a second. So here's my back door, my Hello Pumpkin doormat that I got from Michael's last year. I love it. And then there's my wreath that says welcome with sunflowers and two pumpkins that I made last year also. So that's it for my fall house tour, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I would love for you to be part of my YouTube family if you're not already. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.